if you have to deal with a plastic film data sheet, you may get confused by the technical jargon. Hopefully in just a few minutes, we can show you how to translate and interpret a data sheet into plain English. With any data sheet, you have a certain kind of property. You have a test method, and then you have the uh, values and the units of measurement. So let's get right into it. Starting with haze. Haze is a measure of the amount of light which a piece of plastic allows to go through it. Here we see a nice pretty piece of polypropylene. This probably allows 99% of the light to go through, which means that it has a haze rating of probably one. By contrast, this frosty material probably has a haze of 65 or 70 or so. Not much light gets through. In some applications it matters, in some it doesn't. For example, if you're just putting bulk currency in a bag, you don't really care about whether you can see. By contrast, on a retail application, consumers are getting very fussy and very sophisticated. They can't see what they're buying, they won't buy it. They can't see the water bottles, they won't buy it. So the haze is very important. The next thing is gloss. Gloss is the amount of light which bounces off the plastic. It's measured at 45 degrees. And you can see that our polypropylene has a lot of light reflection going on. This material has a gloss rating of maybe 10, which means that 90% of the light is just refracted off. Applications are wall coverings, where you don't want your walls to be shiny, gaffer's tape for the motion picture industry, or the securing cables and so forth. You want to make sure that no light gets bounced around. You don't want to have any glare. The next thing is secant modulus. Secant modulus is a very fancy name for stiffness. The higher the number, the stiffer the material. Now this is an even polyethylene. This is a synthetic rubber. You can almost hear how soft that is. Very desirable characteristic for the operatory where you don't want to have any noise to distract you. You don't want to have any light bouncing around, so you want a low gloss material. This is also a very soft film. This is a blend of EVA and metallocene. And here it's just a little bit noisier. Now, some applications require a very stiff film. This is actually what's called a medium density polyethylene and it's got a very high secant module. Let's not worry about the actual numbers right now. Just the general idea. Lower the number, softer. Higher the number, stiffer. Next we talk about ASTM D882, which encompasses the actual physical strength, or lack thereof, in the material. The dart impact is the amount of force that's required by a certain kind of test which drops a rounded dart onto a circle of the plastic. The other three which measure the elongation and the elongation of the break are kind of like, imagine um, a rubber band, how a rubber band will start to stretch and will elongate and eventually break. When you talk about these various degrees of elongation and break, break with D882, that's basically what we're talking about. Our fraternal handshake in the film business is this caveman thing here. This is the amount of elongation at break, when it actually breaks, and the percent is how much it stretches before it actually breaks. There is a distinction between a data sheet and a spec sheet. A data sheet is strictly something that's an FYI typical properties. If you look at any well-crafted data sheet, it will say that it's typical properties derived through good faith testing with a lot of 
data, a lot of replicates, and it's not to be construed as specification limits. Specifications or spec sheets are strictly for the protection of the producer and the consumer. Basic idea is if it meets the specifications, the customer takes it. If the material does not meet the specifications, hopefully it will be either worked out or in a worst case scenario returned. We hope that this very short course has demystified the technical jargon of a plastic film data sheet. If you'd like more information, please contact us.